Projects that have massive end goals or supply to the needs of many people usually require intricate construction. Before it can be called a successful project, a lot of time and resources is spent on planning and the actual construction of it. In today's Mighty Machines video, let's take a look at the six big and impressive construction projects one must know of. First up is the Viaduct by Rizalbeck Constructed in France. This is considered as a huge project because its dimensions alone are monstrous already. With a length of 2.4 kilometers, a deck width of 8 meters, and a height of 3 meters under the apron. First, Rizalbeck made the piles that were shuttered in an instant. Then, they focused on building the deck already with prefabricated concrete segments that has internal press dressing. Then, Construction itself was done by the help of a self-moving launching beam that can lean on the deck and does not need to rely on the ground or other surfaces. At the end of the construction, the viaduct's total volume was already 17,000 cubic meters complete with more than 900 segments. The Samos Sacer Company has always excelled in providing sustainable industrial products. Part of this is the process they conducted for the Panama Canal expansion. After hours and hours of work by the 10,000 workers involved, the canal now had two new complexes for the three-step locks. Each lock chamber has a length of 427 meters, a width of 55 meters, and a depth of 18.3 meters. They employed the system of basins that made the works of the Panama Canal more efficient. This specific system led to an increased sustainability since this saves up to 60% water used. Annually, the canal can accommodate up to 600 million tons even with large ships passing by. 6,500 vessels have already passed through this canal in just a span of three years after its construction. In fact, the largest vessel that passed was able to transport 3.4 times more tons per transit. Due to its impressive structure, efficient system, and strategic location, the canal now makes up to 6% of the world trade whole combining more than 140 maritime routes with 1,700 ports in 60 countries. The Cone Cranes is known to be a lifting business that specializes in services meeting the needs of many customers including manufacturing companies, shipyards, ports, etc. They've been very impressive in doing their job, so they were commissioned to deliver a 1,200 tons Goliath crane to the Meyer Turku shipyard in Finland, which assigned them to monitor and provide for the design, the precision drive and the structural component, electrical installation, and the automation system during the whole process. However, the main girder that was left was not from them, but from Meyer Turku's own whole production. A total of 27 million euros was used for this whole process. After the Goliath crane was successfully developed, it immediately became the largest gantry in the Nordic countries. Its size is also very helpful as it helped Mayor Turku to have a thrice as much work done by increasing their daily lifting capacity. One of Axpo's most important expansion projects in recent years is the Limern Pumped Storage Plant, which is located in Glarus Alps Mountain Range in Switzerland. It has investment amounting to a whopping CHF 2.1 billion. This project started in the year 2009 with the groundbreaking ceremony, then proceeded to planning and construction that lasted for about 10 years. The Limern pump storage plant can produce up to 1,000 megawatts that now supplies to more than 1 million households in Switzerland. It's considered as a huge battery in the Glarus Alps. However, since it's used LPSP on like pure storage power plants, it's not able to generate peak energy, but it can convert excess electricity generated during off-peak periods into Valua. Currently, the storage plant is able to pump water from the Limern Lake to the Mutsi Reservoir. If the Expo decides to generate electricity, 
They only need to open the strong steel valves to make way for water to run down from the Mutsi Reservoir to the Lemurn Lake 6030 meters below. The potential energy harnessed from the running water is then converted into electricity. In cases where there is excess supply, resources aren't wasted since it allows the system to pump the water back to the Mutsi Reservoir so it can be used for the next operation. Last, but never the least, is the Navantia Wind Float Project. It was a project for the semi-subversed foundation that was constructed in the Finet shipyard in Spain. The company Coordinadora was commissioned to transport the outer port of the Faroe, which has MHI Vista's 0.84 megawatt offshore wind turbine installed on top. They utilized SPMTs so that the transportation of the entire structure becomes way easier. It was moved from the manufacturing yard to the wharf. After that, a semi-submersible barge was used to send the final structure to Portugal. Then, it was installed 20 kilometers away from the Viana de Castelo coast, where big structures need to be submerged 100 meters underwater. Even after knowing that, Coordinadora was confident with the capacity of the Windflow project as it has a stable design meant to withstand even the most difficult sea and weather conditions. After construction, this has been named as the world's first ever floating wind farm with a total capacity of 25 megawatts. Plus, it provides clean energy to around 60,000 people, saving 1.1 million tons of carbon dioxide from being released per year. That's all for the six big and impressive construction projects one must know of. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments section what you want to see next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss out on these amazing machines. See you in the next video.